Welcome back to Timber Borners. I must pronounce the R's, else this will get demonetized. This video will hopefully show the new update. Robotic beaver helpers that don't need any feeding, just like my editors. Do, 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 do. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. There's a brand new update, which means we've got actual new stuff. And because we're sort of, we're on our way towards endgame, uh, we should be able to use some of that stuff to help us very soon. Uh, we're just, we've just finished a dry season. So you can see the water's returned to our helix spiral thing. It's just about joining down here. There it goes. And then that means we're, we're pretty much good to start pumping again. That's it, boys. Work those logs. Work those logs. So I think before we do anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my beavers to build another, build another lodge. Let's get some more beavers in our colony. We're only 21 strong with two babies. That's really not a lot. We need, we need more beavers. So yeah, everyone's going to work, getting the old log logs in place. Who's that? Less than Marv, Klaus, Adam. Good work, everyone. Uh, meanwhile, down in this direction, this is where we built... Well, it's, it's not built yet. This is where we nearly built our, our new colony, because uh, these are going to be the, the scrapyard people that you can see someone here. That's Abby Marshall. She's bringing over goods. So when we do send beavers over, they won't just die instantly. Um, but they are going to be our scrap people. They'll be taking all the all the metal and stuff from these ancient ruins, what's left of mankind, um, and then pretty much sending them all the way back to our main area, Engineerington, uh, where we can turn that scrap metal into like actual metal bars and things we can use. So first off, we've got to name this new area. Now, I had some great comments on the last Timberborners video. And of course, since these guys will be harvesting metal, we will call this district Heavy Metal Turn. <laughs> Well, I can't not laugh when I do these. So now we've built this house, we should have a few a few more beaver births overnight. And then I'll probably send some beavers over to Heavy Metalington just to get that started. But in order to in order to get the resources out of Heavy Metalton, we're gonna need gonna need some storage. And I'm sort of thinking if I were to build it over here, I could just mess with the path and make it work. So if we grab a platform and shove it on that corner there, then we can grab a small wedge warehouse and shove that there and then hopefully I should just be able to swap the paths to save me having to build one of these distribution posts over this side but nice anyway let's fast forward through the evening oh look at them all using their little rooftop do you remember when the beavles played there that was good times by the way get a beavles t-shirt from Metro now but yes for now I think we need to we need to have a little look at the update see all the new things that we could and should be building and so one of the main things I want to get onto is the golems because then we can do terraforming and all sorts and terraforming Forming could actually really help us with directing this water course. Uh, however, looking at this, we're going to need quite a lot of resources. We're going to need a lot of planks, a lot of gears, and also a fair amount of steel as well. So if I start just growing the colony, then we can sort of work on all those fairly quickly. Now we've got water pumps up here, so it's probably worth trying to get some water storage up here. So I guess let's just build a load of those along that edge, and then we should be good. Oh no, look! Someone's injured! So this is part of the new update as well. Who is injured? It's you down there. Bushmaster General, what have you done? Oh, look, his little, his little paw. That's not a boxing glove. That is, that is a bandage. He's hurt himself. So maybe that's another thing we also need to work on. Trying to heal our beavers. Now in here, the well-being tab, which used to be called the leisure tab, uh, there are now medical beds, but they need 80 science to unlock. And there's also a shower as well, because that's now a basic need to get your beaver wet. <laughs> Oh, keep a straight face, Matt. Keep a straight face. And that costs 50 science as well. So yeah, basically I need I need more people so I can get all this good stuff. Because I'm gonna have to I'm not even I'm not even making science at the moment. They're all turned off. Uh, we do need to be careful because there is a, a drought incoming in two days. And we know this map is pretty brutal in terms of the drought. I think let's prioritize some of those. And whilst we're here, we can also wang another farmhouse down there and we can say plant some more carrots because we are going to need them soon. Anyway it's another evening so I'm hoping yes we've got some births although still not enough really. I'm going to assume it's because we haven't met all of their basic needs like fat uwu senpai. Uh, they, they need some wet fur. Everything else is sort of okay but the wet fur we are lacking so maybe if we get our beavers wet then they might want to procreate. Ew. 
<laughs> this video is getting demonetized so quickly, I can tell. So for 50 science, let's research a shower and then we can shove a load of them like along this edge. Or maybe just two for now. I feel like two is probably enough. Um, oh, and by the way, look, the drought has started. So up here, the water is drying. It dries out so quickly. It's so annoying. But look, we have our floodgates in. I'll tell you what, I might raise those just to store some water back. Um, as usual, we're gonna we're gonna let these guys pump their wood for now so once they're completely pumped out all this all this water will have gone and then we can move the pumpers up to here uh, where they should start filling up our new water storage tanks and the main thing is as you can see all that's drying as long as we can keep this area down here filled with water then all of our plants all of our trees and stuff they'll all be green which is just what we need all right so food pretty good water it's actually it's going up as we're building more and more storage i feel like we're pumping more and more so what i might do I might get some more beavers involved All right so that's now built uh, this this is now dried out so you guys real bridge expansion joint engineer you're fired the engineering savior you're also fired jonas damon you're all fired uh, but if you want your jobs back you can go do them up here so i think we can open three of these no only two because the district center i mean i could probably try and do some more efficient pathage if i were to like cut this corner a bit yeah sadly because there's no diagonal paths i mean you're never going to get a shorter layout so annoyingly, I think we're just going to have two pumpers throughout the, the dry season. I mean, thankfully, we've got 750 water, so we should be absolutely fine. Um, let's just check down here. We can glitch through the map. Oh, look, there's loads of water down here. So that's the current water depth. I mean, I could build a stream gauge, which will sort of tell me how deep the water is exactly. But that's 150 science, and I only have 13 science. So we're not going to do that yet. Uh, you will notice, so we have one unemployed beaver. So let's turn them into a scientist. But yeah, yeah, I've just noticed actually this is oh man this is a really long dry season I think this is the longest dry season there might actually be a little bit scary actually we definitely need to keep an eye on this because as we've seen in previous videos once you lose water particularly this water once all of that goes brown uh, our colony's doomed there's pretty much nothing we can do uh, except for thankfully we do have the adjustable floodgates so we can let water out if needed anyway a few days have passed looking down here you can see we've had a few beavers grown up so RPG Aholic, uh, they've gone in this new farm that I built, and so has Zizzy the Fox. Uh, what job has neglected Zach got? They are oh, they're unemployed. They've they've been they've been neglected. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Anyway, I'll make I'll make Zach feel right at home because I think what I'm gonna do I'm going to migrate population. So we're gonna send that one beaver from Engineerington to Heavy Metal Turn. So if we follow him, he's just left Engineerington. He is now in the district of heavy metalton now i'm gonna leave him as a district center worker and basically what he should do is go and build this scavenger flag over here because once that's built then he can start mining that which means we'll finally have some metal coming into the colony so how are you getting on down there zach not feeling too neglected are you you are the only beaver in heavy metalton um, nice he's built it right let's quickly pause the district center and look now he works at the scavenger flag you know what are you, do what are you doing mate he's carrying carrots he's just taking carrots out of the drop-off point which is where he's meant to get food from and he's going over here and putting it in he's putting it in the small warehouse you're a you're an idiot mate <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach, but I can see why a colony neglected you. All right, anyway, hopefully he'll walk straight past us this time and then he'll go do his job. Yes. So there he is mining the, the old relics of past times. And we've got two scrap metal in the scavenger flag already. But as you can see by this bar on the top right, we're now into nighttime and our working hours are only 16 hours and they finished on that little blue blob there. So he's gone to go find somewhere to sleep, I think. Is that right, mate? What's he looking at? Oh, he's just staring out at the view. Where? Where? Where's he gone now? Oh, he's down there sleeping. Look at him. <laughs> oh, poor little beaver. Let's speed up time and let him see. Oh, goodness. Actually, they I think the devs, have they changed the sleeping animation so I can't make that joke anymore? <laughs> if, the, 
If the devs did that because of me, I, I can only apologize. Oh, they don't look like they're tugging one out anymore. That's a shame. Anyway, back in Engineerington, look at this. The showers are built. That means all of our little beavers, they're getting another need met. Which means, oh look, we've got more and more beavers. Chris Dibbs has just grown up and someone else has been born. So Chris Dibbs, you've got dibs on being a scientist, I reckon. Go discover things our beavers could only imagine. Um, I am actually going to build another house or two, I think. Water looks fine, and so is food. Let's get two more houses in and see how that gets on. And meanwhile, back in Heavy Metaton, old neglected Zack, he's carrying scrap metal because look, over here, he actually filled up. He got 20 scrap metal ready, so that is banging. It means we can start to think about building a smelter, although that takes a lot of logs and gears and stuff. We've actually got enough logs and gears, to be fair. It's just the scrap metal that will have to come over. And of course, we need the 300 sites, which we're still a little way off at the moment. But the new beaver houses are in, which means after another night of goodness knows what in their rooms, uh, lots of baby beavers have been born. Oh, and look, it finally got to him. Unshameable architect, died of old age. He lived a long life of not being shamed, escaping the shame wheel constantly. Uh, but death did finally catch up with him and he dies in shame. Probably. Maybe. I didn't actually see what happened. Right, anyway, we've got 1.8 days left of the drought. So let's just zoom in and see. Oh, that's not a good sign. I think if that rim's poking out the water. Oh, yes, there's there's not a lot of water left there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly just let some water out of the floodgates. We can just lower that. Oh, man, I've lowered it to two and there's still no water coming out. So basically, we're just letting a load of water out there. That should come all the way around here and then back down there. To be honest, I feel like this will probably work for now i the long the long-term solution was to try and get some like some shortcuts and things in so the water can get down quicker but uh, i feel like that would be okay let's let's raise that we don't want to lose too much water because look we've still got a we still got a pump and we can't have that water level go too low so the water's coming down here it should top this up i'm um, really with not much time to spare really i mean look how much water's left oh and there it goes back up again that is what we like to see so that just saves this whole area for from going brown so that's great because it means our carrots and stuff won't die people can still take showers and yeah things are looking good what's going on over here so there's a beaver that doesn't know what to do that's what that symbol means um, oh they're at the gatherer flag and basically all the berries have died here yep it it dried out and died well since the drought has ended there should be water coming back from up here yeah look this water source up here that is about to produce there it goes now this comes down the back of my base all the way down there which means we can turn these four pumpers back on and then we can pause these two up the top because look actually i think they they're just out of slurping range they can't actually slurp anymore so we'll pause both of those and just like that we're good because look the spiral helix that's brought water back down to here so let's raise these back up i think two and a half was like the normal level and then we're just storing water here ready for the next dry season nice i think we're under control in terms of dry seasons and stuff yeah we just got to make sure we're always growing our colony because we're gonna have to up our plank production our gear production the heavy metalers over here they're they're doing pretty well actually we've got 34 scrap metal so it might be worth unlocking the smelter particularly as we have 360 science already so yeah let's unlock the smelter for 300 science thank you and then i might shove these up here like a new sort of industrial zone let's shove two in there wang a windmill on the edge like that with a cheeky shaft between them and then just path it up so that should all get built and then we can turn that scrap metal into usable metal blocks um but what the frig no way so in 1.9 days there's another drought incoming as well <laughs> Hard mode is just constant drought. And look, there it goes. The drought has started yet again. <laughs> That was like minutes between droughts. Yeah, but I tell you what though, this smelter, look, they've got all the planks and all the gears in both of them as well. Fair play. Uh, we just need some scrap metal. Now, I think the best way of doing this is literally just to sever that path and then connect that up. So now this small warehouse, it's now part of Engineerington. So we should see, yes, look, lots of beavers. They're coming along. Danny Sorensen. Yep, she's carrying scrap metal, as you can see there. She's going to carry it all the way up to these so these can get built finally. 
finally. Um, I've also put in some backup power up here as well. We've got another shaming wheel just because I'm not convinced the windmills actually work. Like down here, I swear this windmill it spends most of its time not moving uh, than actually producing power. I mean, nothing beats the sheer reliability of the shaming wheel. And we're not going to lie, one of my favorite pastimes at the moment is to just shame beavers that end up in there. So this time it's Mythos. I'm sorry, Mythos, but um, shame, 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 shame. Oh yeah, can't beat it. Can't beat it. <laughs> Uh, we have two unemployed beavers, so I think I'm going to send one to this lumberjack flag. I feel like we could probably do some more logs and stuff. And then I'm sort of hoping that the other one could maybe come into the smelter. But I think for now they can just warm up by pumping their log. So Con Satantin, you're, you're in there, mate. Oh no, I've just rose. Look how long the drought is. 16 days? Okay, we might need some more water storage, I think, just to play it safe. Um, I still don't have the large tank unlocked. I could do that, but it's going to cost a lot of gears. I feel like I need gears for more important things like the golems. So instead, let's just build these little storages. I'm sure they'll be fine. All right, then I don't think we're ever going to need these, so I'm going to delete Delete those. Swap this path back on the old storage. Oh, and then look over here. We've got we've got power. We've got the shaming wheel. We've got the windmill. Uh, we're just waiting for four more scrap metal there and the whole thirty for that one. Okay, nice. Over this way, neglected Zach. He's got the he's got the scrap metal over there. I could send someone over to help him if I'm honest. I could, but then but then Zach won't feel neglected, will he? So sorry, Zach, mate. You're a <laughs> You're on your own. Oh no, who's that? Someone's just got in the shaming wheel on their, literally on their own. Who, who is that? It's no one. Oh, it's just, it's just no one. Don't worry. No, no one's in the shaming wheel. It's fine. It's fine. I tell you what, I do, I do have two unemployed beavers. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send someone over to help Zach out. And who's gone over to heavy metal turn? It's, it's no one. So first job for them will be to build their scavenger flag, and then they can join Zach in, in harvesting all that metal. Nice. Next up, I'm ready. I I think I'm ready for more houses. Let's just go for three more houses. Let's go. Let's go all out. I might then do some slight adjustments to this path. Basically send it that way so that I can shove another shaming wheel in here like that. Because then we can shove another gear workshop and maybe another lumber mill like that. So that should just increase the number of gears and stuff we're making. Oh, and then I've completely forgotten about the healing. So Nova Harris, look, he's wearing a sock. He's got a bandage on his foot. Poor little dude. So let's unlock the medical bed for 80 science. Yes. And oh, look, it's only small. So we can shove these in like all the gaps where we don't actually have anything going on. Like another one there, maybe. Then we've got lots of medical facilities. I mean, what actually, what are they? They look like just little hammocks with like a tent over it. All right, so we've got constant births everywhere. Everywhere, which means at some point soon we're going to have a lot of jobs spare. Looks like we've got 11 children. That's like 25% of our colony are our kids at the moment. Uh, so we probably want the we probably want some jobs ready for when they grow up. And we know we've got three jobs here, but I feel like maybe we want to go. We want to add a bit of science. So perhaps up here in all like the awkward gaps, we can add a load of science huts. I think that will be probably a good plan. Oh, and down here, yes, my name is Bob. Has grown up. He's only seven and that's when they get to work. Now currently, yes, my name is Bob. Uh, he's just he's just sat in the pub. He doesn't actually have a job. So what should we go make him do is a thing. I feel like, hang on, are they, are they chestnuts? Oh yeah, I, I was meant to plant maples, but I actually planted chestnuts up there. I'll tell you what then, it might be worth just as a little bit of food variety. If we wang like a gatherer flag, probably at the end there. I'm gonna put that on high priority so it gets built straight away. Uh, Mr. Bob can then harvest these chestnut trees and... Can we eat chestnuts raw or do we have to cook them? We may have to cook them in a grill. So let's build a grill, I guess. We can shove that down there for now, I reckon. And then we've got an additional food source. So Noodle 12, you can see his nutrition. He's only eating carrots at the moment. But if we add grilled chestnuts on, oh, that's an extra two well-being points. Decent. Because basically, the more the more of these you can fill up, the, the sort of healthier and the stronger and faster your beavers become so well worth doing um, but my aim today was to try and get to the golems they're so late game though i mean thankfully we will have these science huts ready soon so we should be well like quadrupling our science in input but yeah it's gonna it's gonna take a while particularly as it's been like it's been like well over a week i think there's only eight days remaining of the drought and over in heavy metal turn the a small warehouse. They've only got 17 scrap metal in there. It's taking so long. I think because every one bit of scrap metal they do, they have to walk like all that way. Really not ideal. I mean, I could build a 
like a haulers post over this side and then migrate people over to move it for them that might be worth doing just i'm just trying to think efficiently here so a hauling post costs 20 logs and 10 planks um it's not actually it's not that big it's what i might do i might build it like down there and then just put some stairs straight up to it and i'm hoping what will happen my beavers yes look they'll come around here and they're, they're building it from this side so it should mean my heavy metalton builders they won't actually need to build this themselves decent the grill is in as well so we're just going to select the recipe to grilled chestnuts and look harm bossman he's got in there the smoke is pouring out which means he is cooking some grilled chestnuts good work the water down here is dangerously low though look look at that that is probably the lowest i've ever seen it thankfully i've lowered the floodgates there's water on its way uh, but there's still five days left of the drought so this top up is definitely needed you can see the water level rising rapidly that should be good for another five days i'd imagine uh, can we still pump water up here just about these guys are pumping their hardest really working their logs uh, trying to suck up every last bit of juice from that <laughs> Um, oh, and look who's just grown up. It looks like we have our first shamer ready for the additional shaming wheel down here. So, Lung PP, I'm sure that's exactly how you wanted me to pronounce your name. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna end the video on shame, shame, peace, love, and shame, shame, shame. Bye, guys. Catch you next time. Shame. Bye. Shame, shame.